Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nolden. Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. On today's episode, let's talk about a few things that you will need to know before you do your shoots or your production phase. But before we do that, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Let's dive in now to the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Number one thing that you will need to do is plan your video content. When we say planning, you have to have your goal. It is what kind of video you want your viewers to see. Is it a drama video, a comedy skit, or maybe a dialogue heavy video? You have to plan these things ahead of time so that you can also plan ahead with your shots. Now we're talking about shot placements, let's talk about the storyboard. Since we're talking about shots, storyboarding is one of the best ways for you to clearly see what you want to do in the video. Also, it gives you a guide and sequence on what to shoot next. It makes the production process more organized and you can save time and also energy. Another thing that you will need to remember is to plan your equipment. One of the most crucial things you will need to take into consideration. Number two is pick a good location and shoot in a good background. The background on where you choose your shoot is everything because it will tell your audience where you are and what kind of environment you are in. The environment in your videos provides the accent and it reinforces the thought of what you want to portray. One of the most crucial things you will need to take into consideration. Number two is pick a good location and shoot in a good background. The background on where you choose your shoot is everything because it will tell your audience where you are and what kind of environment you are in. The environment in your videos provides the accent and it reinforces the thought of what you want to portray. Number three is make do with what you have. If you only have a portable camera, that is fine. If you have only your camera phone, that is fine as well. You don't need to buy new equipment before you do your shoots. You have to learn how to do it first so that when you decide to buy a new piece of equipment, you will know exactly how to use it and what you are going to use it for. Number four, avoid using your camera's microphone. I tell you this now, camera microphones are fine and all when you don't have a dedicated microphone for your shoots. But as soon as you have the funds to buy a good microphone, you will be able to help yourself and your production even more. Sometimes the mic in your camera has static noises and trust me when I say this, it's so hard to clean out the audio after that. So if you have the funds, dedicate a microphone for your audio. And that's the episode of Freedom. Let us know down below if you have missed some things out. Before you leave, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, Freedom, quick tips. I'm going to be seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye.